So a question was asked by one of the students over email, which is it? In an 8-bit system, is minus 128, minus 127, or kind of implied in there, minus 129, or something else, the most negative number that could be represented in an 8-bit machine like the Atmega 328? Well, we could go to one of the online tables or online converters like this one or that one, which are fantastic for checking out your work. But what if there was a different way of doing it by going to sort of um, the, the basics of a calculation? And, and here's one way to do it. We're going to investigate is the conversion from positive 128 to negative 128 and positive 127 to negative 127 in two's complement form. Is it going to give us the, the, the answer as to what's the most negative? And then just to check, we'll do minus 129 as well. Okay. So we'll start with, um, with a hint before we get to that. In one of these websites right here, you'll see that there's a table that describes four bit numbers. So when we're dealing with four bit machines, which is be like a really small little microcontroller. In two's complement, four bits zero yield zero. One in two's complement is going to be that. Zero one 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 like that will be seven. And let's see if you go to eight in that table, you'll see that negative eight is this, and one zero zero one is negative seven. So this gives sort of a hint as to what we're going to be looking for when we're going to eight bit math. Okay, so we're going to do eight bit math that we're looking at in two's complement. Okay, so 128 in uh, binary, in regular binary, forget two's complement for a minute, 128 is going to be zero B, so binary, one zero zero zero, that's the first nibble or the top nibble, and then Four zeros after that. Positive 127 on the other hand is going to be binary. 0, 1, 2, 3 like that and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the representation positive notation for positive 128 and positive 127. Now if we want to convert that into a negative 128 using the twos complement standard what we do first is we're going to invert. Okay so we're going to invert here and we're going to invert there. So that means that we get a zero binary. Okay, so zero like that, zero B. And then we're going to invert all the bits. We go zero, one, 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 and then one, 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 one. And over here for 127, we invert, so still in binary, one, zero, 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 zero. Then from there, we have to add one. So we go, uh, let me see, zero, 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 one. And here we go, zero, 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 zero. Zero, 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 1. Like that. All right, so for 127, let's do it. So 0 and 1 is 1. 0 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1. So this is negative 127 in 2's complement. All right, over here, what do we have? We have 1 and 1 together. That makes zero with a one carry then we go one oh, sorry one and one here plus zero all right that makes a zero with a carry 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 one zero zero and that's one so let's just clean that up right there one zero 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 is negative 128. If you go beyond this, if you add one to this here, you get 127, you sort of get that countdown, just like you saw over here. If you take this negative eight right here and you add one in the least significant bit, you're sort of counting up in the binary, but you're counting down in the base 10 equivalent uh, value. So we're seeing actually the same thing right here. We've hit our max, but let's just check. Let's just make sure that that's the case. Let's take a look at positive 129 and convert that to negative 
129. Because maybe that's the biggest negative number that you can have, the most negative number that you could have. Let's let's just make sure that that's either the case or not the case, okay? Oops, hold on. Right there. Okay. So, um, let's see. So, 129 in binary non-twos complement is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. It's going to be 128 plus 1, right? So, that's 0, 0, 0, 1, which actually happens to also be the twos complement representation for 100 negative, or sorry, for negative 127, all right? So positive 129 in non-twos complement is the same in a binary bit stream as negative 127. So that, that should give you some pause for a moment here, all right? Next up, we invert all the bits, which means we go 0, 1, 1, 1, then we go 1, 1, 1, 0, and then we add one. So we go zero, 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 one, like that. So zero and one is one, one, zero is one, 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 zero. All right, so we've done the inversion, we've added one to it, and the bit result that we get in the most significant bit, in bit number eight, if it's an eight bit number, is zero. And we know that in two's complement representation, a zero in the most significant bit position is, well, a positive. It's not a negative number. So this is not right. Instead, what we have to do is we have to represent it this way. We go uh, one, zero, 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 one. And we have to add eight bits on top of that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is now a 16 bit number. All right, now we do the inversion like that. So we go um, one, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. And we add one. So I have to get all my bits here. All right, so we add one to that. And we get uh, one, 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 zero, one, 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 one. So right here, what we get is a most significant bit value of one. And then we get the rest of the bit sequence in here. So the MSB indicates that we do have a negative number. It looks very much like you can't represent it as an 8-bit number. It has to be a, well, greater than 8 bits. And in our case, we would jump up to 16 bits from there. So negative 129 would get represented in 16-bit uh, math, but not 18-bit, or sorry, not 8-bit. All right, so there you go. That's uh, how to check what's going on with 2's complement math and what would be the most negative number in 2's complement. And that would be negative 128, not 100 and negative, uh, sorry, negative 127. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.